As Louisiana continues to battle COVID-19, nearly 500 more people in the state have been infected. Another 16 lives have been lost. For the second day in a row, Acadiana has not lost another life to the virus. However, 90 more people have contracted the disease. The statewide mask mandate has now been lifted, but with some conditions. Governor John Bell Edwards made the decision just a couple hours ago. Masks are no longer required indoors except in medical settings or on public transportation. K-12 school districts can unmask only if they follow CDC guidance for quarantining, which requires asymptomatic students to stay home after exposure. News 10's Nils Zarang reports live with the science behind the decision and what people think about the mask mandate going away. Neil. Good evening, Dalford. I'm here in downtown Lafayette, and Governor Edwards cited reduced hospitalizations and the percent of positive coronavirus tests as his reason for lifting the state mandate. Both of those have reduced drastically since the mask mandate was introduced 12 weeks ago. We have made tremendous progress, and I have no doubt that re implementing the mask mandate when we did in August was key to this. After 83 days, Louisiana's second mask mandate is lifted. Louisiana was the first state in the country to reissue a mask mandate on August 4th. At that time, 2,350 people were in hospital statewide with COVID-19. Most recently, the Louisiana Department of Health recorded 323 COVID hospitalizations. That's an 86% decrease. It's past time. Rachel Tresner had hoped the mandate would be lifted for her children. Under the new mandate, Kate through 12 schools can only unmask if CDC guidance for quarantining is followed. To me, if you fully vaccinate it and your kids are fully vaccinated, the ones who's eligible, you, you shouldn't have to wear a mask. I mean, we protect it and we protect other people. There is no distinction made between unvaccinated and vaccinated people in the new mandate. Louisiana is currently 47.4% vaccinated, which is below the national average of 57.7% vaccinated. I'm here for my booster because this thing's not over. Some like Michael Smith were not opposed to the mandate continuing for their health and their families. It just doesn't make sense to, to for people not to protect themselves as much as possible. Although masking and vaccines are not required, they're still being encouraged with a focus on getting the young children vaccinated and the elderly their booster shots. Governor Edwards said if a fifth surge comes, another mask mandate is not ruled out. I think it would be a tremendous mistake to ever uh, take any common sense proven mitigation measures and say we're never going to do that again regardless of what happens to uh, cases and to hospitalizations. Local governments and private businesses can choose to be more restrictive at their wish, but they cannot be less restrictive because of federal regulations. Masks must still be worn on public transportation and in healthcare settings. Reporting live in Lafayette, Niels Rank, ALFY News 10.